Ken Okel understands productivity. He's been an award-winning journalist. You have to honor your deadlines. Led hurricane relief volunteers. The importance of helping people help people. And kept a professional ballet company open during a recession. Sometimes when things are challenging, when things are tough, you just have to find a way to get to tomorrow. Today, this author takes audiences on an engaging, empowering, and entertaining journey. When was that last time? You took a chance or a risk. And how did that make you feel? You have so many things that are going through your mind that you don't know what to do. A second later, the tow truck arrives. Now, as a four-year-old, I would have loved to have played with this truck. It's this big truck, and this big guy gets out of the truck, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to kind of be cool. This is the big truck guy. So I go, hey, buddy, um, I got the tire out for you. And he's like, oh, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. And then I'm like, and uh, I got the jack out for you, too. And he goes, oh, uh, that's OK. I, I have my own. Out of the side of that big truck, he pulls out this big jack. He puts it on. It's got this big handle. He pumps it about three times. And my car's up in the air. And at that point, I realized that I did not know jack about jacks. <laughs> because I had assumed that they were all the same. Turns out they weren't. Turns out I had a little bit of a blind spot. This is most people's day. You have a certain amount of stuff that you have to do. You feel like I'm competent. I'm able to get all this stuff done. But then, oh, Ken, we need you to do something else. OK. <laughs> It's a little bit more, but I can manage it. I'll just take a shorter lunch or do something else. I'll, I'll figure it out. But then another person comes on and, oh, we need you to help with this. And, oh, could you be on this committee too? And I start to panic. So we are going to do a quiz. And I got to let you know, a Ken Oakle quiz is designed to make sure that you win. Everyone, just forget the past 30 seconds. So. Which one? 1,200 employees, right? 1,200 employees across the globe. Okay. Which one do oh, you think? Duh. Focus without interruptions. Oh my gosh, she got it right! Some people like to do this thing where they come in early, they stay late, and they work through lunch. The idea being, you can get more done when other people are not around. Now, I have tried this, and yeah, it works. But the problem is that you're coming in early, you're staying late, and you're working through lunch. And over time, you're gonna start to burn out. You did awesome, awesome, awesome. And you know what? Also, the balloon was a, I'm such a visual person and a visual learner and I love visual analogies and that balloon, you're right. You can only blow it up so much. Clearing the path and having that mentality to clear things and just kind of have it explained a little better, it was really nice to listen to. I love the uh, getting to tomorrow. This will get me closer to tomorrow with success and I really, really appreciate that. And I look at the officer and he goes, you want to get attacked by a killer? I got to tell you, Killer is the name of the police dog. We've just done the story on. And I look over at the dog, and the dog's kind of like, ah, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, bring it on, bring it on. So it's kind of one of those out of body experiences where you hear this voice coming out of you that says, yes. <laughs> so then, a second later, I am putting on a padded suit. I want you to run. I'm like, you want to run? He goes, yeah, just run. Killer will do the rest. <laughs> so I start to run. And then I kind of hear him say something like, get him. And there's a sonic boom and this blur that is coming towards me really fast. And then before I know it, Killer grabs me and I go down. And he says something I'll never forget. He goes, this food stinks. I'm going to go get some more. And he walks away, clomp, 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 clomp. So let's think about what Mike said. This food stinks. 
I'm going to go get some more. How many times in our lives have we kind of said that same thing where we're doing something where we're not really getting the results that we want, but we keep doing it because it's comfortable? What if we could imagine a better way? Need more productivity? Experience Ken Ockel at your next meeting.